Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. On November 22nd, 1988, a strange looking aircraft was revealed to the public at Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. The B-2 Spirit was unlike anything the world had ever seen. Its successor, the B-21 Raider, may look almost the same, but it is a universe apart, and in it lies its greatest advantage. Secret flight testing of America's newest stealth bomber commenced under cover of darkness at California's Plant 42. During the winter of 2023-2024, Northrop Grumman engineers and Air Force pilots work carefully through ground tests, taxi trials, and finally, the first flight of the B-21 Raider. Teams from the Combined Test Force continue to conduct rigorous evaluations of this groundbreaking aircraft. On December 2nd, 2022, thousands gathered at Northrop Grumman's Palmdale site, eager to see history rewritten again. Under dramatic lights and music, America's first sixth generation aircraft emerged from giant hangar doors. Military officials, politicians, and proud workers shared their incredible accomplishments in the historic unveiling. Named to honor the legendary Doolittle Raiders of 1942, the B-21 carries forward their legacy of courage and innovation. Like those 80 brave airmen who struck Japan in B-25 bombers launched from an aircraft carrier not designed for B-25s, today's Raider embodies American determination to reach any threat, anywhere, despite all obstacles. Built as America's first sixth generation aircraft, the B-21 Raider combines advanced stealth technology with unprecedented networking capabilities. This dual-capable bomber delivers both conventional and nuclear weapons, operating manned or unmanned. In 1988, Northrop presented the innovative B-2 Spirit, America's first stealth bomber, as part of the Advanced Technology Bomber Program. Designed to circumvent powerful Soviet air defenses, its unusual flying wing form and radar-absorbing materials rendered it practically invisible to radar. Though only 21 aircraft were built owing to post-Cold War budget cuts, the Spirit demonstrated its effectiveness in Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq, hitting crucial targets with unparalleled precision. In the 1940s, Jack Northrop's N1M and XB-35 experimental aircraft paved the way for the stealthy flying wing design. While these early prototypes had promise, control issues hampered operational success. The concept evolved from the YB-49 jet bomber, which crashed during testing. Decades later, the Have Blue and Tacit Blue stealth prototypes served as critical stepping stones, testing new radar evading technology that eventually contributed to the successful production of the B-2 Spirit. However, getting the B-2 on the drawing board or onto the runway wasn't all smooth sailing. 
Northrop Corporation faced significant engineering problems developing the B-2, built on Jack Northrop's flying wing history. The intricate design necessitated 500 new manufacturing processes, including unique composite materials and precise assembly procedures. Engineers created innovative solutions for anything, from radar-absorbing surfaces to climate-controlled assembly hulls. The precise shape of each component necessitated exceptional manufacturing precision, guaranteeing that every B-2 met exact stealth criteria. One could say the impassioned engineers behind the B-2 program jumped out of bed every morning, motivated by the prospect of creating something extraordinary. Working in complete secrecy during the 1980s, these dedicated teams created totally new computer systems and testing techniques. Their inventive attitude and relentless dedication paid off when the bomber outperformed expectations in terms of stealth and strike capability. The 1999 combat debut validated their years of problem solving and hard work. In fact, these bombers are so well engineered that every B-2 Spirit requires specialized climate-controlled hangars known as clamshells to protect its sensitive stealth coatings. These huge structures maintain precise temperature and humidity while specialists maintain and repair the $2 billion airplane. B-2 Spirit armaments are loaded either inside the clamshell or outside onto unique rotary launchers. Each bomber can carry up to 16 2,000 pound joint direct attack munitions, JDAMs, precision guided bombs, or a variety of additional missiles or nuclear weapons. Before takeoff, the B-2 aircrew performs pre-flight checks, such as checking the integrity of the stealth coating and testing the sophisticated radar jamming devices. Flight control computers are subjected to intense diagnostic inspections, while ground crews thoroughly test the environmental control system, which is crucial for delicate electronics. The B-2 rotates at about 140 knots and is powered by four F-118 GE-100 engines that produce 17,300 pounds of thrust apiece. Its elevens adjust for the best takeoff attitude when the 336,500 pound aircraft breaks the ground generating a positive rate of climb through 1,000 feet. Flying at operational altitude, the B-2 crew launches precision-guided JDAMs that use GPS to pinpoint targets. For unguided missions, the powerful weapons computer determines release sites allowing gravity bombs to fall with astonishing precision via the rotary launcher system. B-2 Spirits are not supersonic, but there is one bomber that is. The B-1B Lancer, which entered service in 1986, was America's first supersonic strategic bomber. Built by Rockwell International, it features variable sweep wings, modern avionics, and a massive payload capacity. Originally built for low-level nuclear penetration missions, the Bone is now largely used as a conventional weapons platform. Before takeoff, 
the B-1B's four-person crew begins pre-flight with a systematic checklist. Pilots assess flying controls, while system operators inspect defensive and offensive systems. Starting the F-101 GE-102 engines demands accurate temperature and RPM gauge monitoring. Each of the four engines fires up consecutively, accompanied by distinctive whines and vibrations throughout the huge airframe. Four General Electric F101 GE102 turbofan engines, each producing more than 30,000 pounds of thrust, power the B1B to speeds greater than Mach 1.2. The weapons team painstakingly assembles quick-strike naval missiles by modifying conventional Mark 80 series bombs with specific kits. These sea mines, carried inside the bomber's three bomb base, can be deployed quickly to disrupt enemy naval activities. Weapon loaders methodically assemble JDAMs in the munitions building before delivering them to the B-1B. Teams use the MHU-83 jammer to accurately position each 2,000-pound bomb before loading it into the aircraft's three internal weapons base. Crews use rigorous protocols to lock the missiles onto rotating launchers, which can carry up to 24 JDAMs in total. As the B-1B approaches the target, the offensive weapons system officer drops Mark 82 Snake Eye bombs, which have large drag fins that slow their descent for low altitude delivery. Defensive flames flash behind the supersonic bomber as it banked away. In addition to these unguided weapons, the Bones 3 weapons base can contain cruise missiles cluster munitions, and various other munitions. In the U.S. Air Force strategic bomber arsenal, the famed B-52 Stratofortress, which first flew in 1952, remains America's most enduring bomber. During cart starts, cartridge starts. Each engine is filled with explosive cartridges akin to huge shotgun shells. When fired, these cartridges quickly spin the engine's turbines, triggering the start sequence. They are used when a quick start is required. Ground crews keep a close eye on the eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines, each producing 17,000 pounds of thrust as they fire up in a precise sequence. These bombers are also often used to test new weapon systems, such as experimental missiles. A B-52H Stratofortress from the 419th Flight Test Squadron successfully tested the AGM-183A Arrow at Edwards Air Force Base, marking a critical milestone in hypersonic weapon development. This groundbreaking air-launched hypersonic missile is America's first offensive hypersonic weapon. Designed to move at speeds more than Mach 5, the arrow allows U.S. forces to strike time-sensitive targets at extreme ranges. Soon, the United States will have four different strategic bombers to choose from for missions. From the highly advanced B-21 Raider 
to the supersonic B-1B and the tried and tested B-52. Each of these great machines is sure to play a major role in future conflicts. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.